Hey, I'm Taylor Hender, and you are watching slash reading Celebrity Interviews, and this is for Jacqueline. Alrighty, we're going to get started. Okay, so the first question is, at what age did you start acting? Um, well, I'm originally from Texas, so I started acting at, like, five-ish. Um, but then we moved out to California, and I was, like, nine or ten. So, awesome. professionally, I guess, like, nine or ten, you know, like, uh, but I did a short film in Texas. That's great. Okay, uh, what was your very first acting role? Um, it was a short film in Texas. It was called, um, Howard the Coward, and I played, like, a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your very first red carpet event? Hmm. Remember? It was. No, um, I think it was 16 Wishes, actually. Was it? Wow. That's yeah, really I awesome. went to the premiere of, um, the, the Last Game or something. What was it? With, um, with Jake T. Austin. Ah. Oh, and I didn't yeah. go on the red carpet. That's awesome. Um, what is your favorite part about acting? Um, I love, like, choosing between different characters, like, stepping out of my own body for just a change. Um, what is your, what is most challenging about acting? Well, if I don't relate to a character, it's fun if I don't relate to a character because then I get to be completely a different person, but it's kind of hard because y if you don't act that way, it's kind of hard because you're like, hmm, well, how would that person act? So it's kind of hard when you don't know what you would do. Um, what, what, Okay, um, what was it like being part of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It was so fun. We did it, um, I think two years ago, but it was so fun because, um, you know, I wasn't in school and it was the summer, so it was like I was kind of in school, though, because, you know, um, there was all these questions and you were like, hmm, let's see. <laughs> so That's I really movie. learned a lot. That's awesome. Um... <laughs> What was it like being part of the Disney Channel movie Den Brother? Oh, that was that was such a wonderful experience. That's my favorite because we filmed in Utah and it, it actually snowed one time and um G who played Emily is one of my really good friends and all of the bumblebees are I hang out with them all of the time. Uh can you tell them more about the Disney Channel movie Den Brother and your character Abia? Yes. Um Den Brother was about Emily, a Girl Scout, and Hutch, her big brother. Um, who was his name? Alex. And it's just, he kind of like learns and becomes more mature. He kind of grows up a little. And um, it's just about a Girl Scout troop and earning badges. And it really has a good message. Um, do you have anything in common with your character, Abigail, from the Den Brother? Yes, I love clothes. Like, as you can see, I'm wearing this explanation point. It's really glittery. glittery. So Abigail is way crazy with her clothes. She would wear stripes and leopard, and she's just so fashionable. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite memory from being on set of Den Brother or something? Yes. Um, I would owe it. We, we were in a hotel in Utah, and um, when we were doing school, they had these long hallways, so me and Haley, who played Tina, we would always do cartwheels down them and flip-flops, because we were both in gymnastics, and it was just so fun, because we would just all roam through the hallways and just be a little weird sometimes. <laughs> uh, if you could act alongside anyone in the future, who would it have to be? Uh, Dakota Fanning, I think. Or Sandra Bullock. She's really funny. If you could be on one TV show or talk show, which would it have to be? I really want to be on Ellen. She's hilarious, too. <laughs> I love funny people, so <laughs> I think that would be fun. I love Ellen, too. Yeah. Um, who are your inspirations? Um... Well, I really, uh, like I said, I really like Dakota Fanning because, you know, she started when she was really young. So, you know, you kind of just see her, like, 
grow up in each of the films that she does. Like, Uptown Girls is one of my favorite movies. It's actually right over there. I can see it right now. But, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. And then um, Dreamer, that, you know, she grew up a little bit. So I really like her. Awesome. Are you working on any acting projects right now or uh, going on any auditions? Well, I actually just, uh, well, not just got finished, a couple months ago, but Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer, that's going to be a really big movie. So, um, it comes out in June. June? Oh, so you work with Cameron? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I just interviewed her the other day, so. Oh my gosh. Was, yeah. Oh, I was going to say you should have said outside, but it, it was, it's not in the future. <laughs> awesome, that looks like a good movie. Based off book, right? What? So, but it's, Based off a book, isn't it? Yes. Um, not the partic- this particular movie, um, but the like whole character. series. It's just all jumbled into one big movie. Awesome. And it's with Heather Graham, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, do you have any advice for anyone wanting to act as a career, or just advice in general? Um, if you're going to become an actress or actor, you really have to want it. You can't just be doing it just, um... Like, for the money or for the fame, you really have to, like, love acting to do it. And um, you have to accept rejection because a lot of the times you get rejected. So you just got to keep your spirits high and just keep going. And, you know, the next audition, that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm confident. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it have to be? Paris. <laughs> I love Paris so much. Awesome. So I really want to go there. Uh, do you have any interest in singing at all? Yes, I do. Um, actually, I've been taking singing lessons for quite a while. So, yeah. That's awesome. Um, uh, what is, okay, these are just more random questions. So, um, okay. <laughs> what, is, what is your favorite cast TV show? Um, well, I really lo- I love Wizards of Waverly Place and iCarly. And, um... Sometimes I do watch Glee. A lot of people well, like Glee, so I try to watch it, you know, because that's what all the conversations are about. So I try that, to keep... That's my next question, your favorite current TV show, but, like, one oh, that's on Oh, anymore. past TV show. Oh. Well, Wizards of Waverly Place and iCarly is still running, so... <laughs> uh, maybe something on Disney that's not really on anymore? Lizzie McGuire. I ah, love yes. McGuire. <laughs> that was such a good show. I just it love was. it. Um... Okay, so you said your favorite TV show is like... (laughs) Yeah, now. Okay. Um, If you were stuck in the storyline of one TV show, what would it have to be? Hmm. I would have to say... Maybe iCarly or Wizards of Waverly Place. (laughs) Well, not really... Yeah, Wizards of Waverly Place, because then I could, like, make myself fly or something. (laughs) iCarly is just so fun. It's so funny. That would be cool. Um... What is your favorite movie or movie that's been out? Hmm. My favorite movie. I ha- I have recently had a new favorite movie. Oh, Home Alone 3. I, I know, like, every single line from that movie now. <laughs> um, I've watched it, like, 15 times or something. I really like that. And Uptown Girls and, um... Oh, and I just saw the Justin Bieber movie. So that was... Ah! <laughs> Everyone's going to see that, so... I had to be part of it. Uh, what was the last movie you saw in the movie theater? It was, I I think it was Justin Bieber, yeah. Awesome. But I wanted to see Rango because my brother <laughs> wanted to see it, and he said it was really funny. So <laughs> I go see that. Who is your favorite Disney princess? Hmm, Cinderella. I love Cinderella. She's just so elegant. All the Disney present princesses are elegant, but I just think because you know the calm white and the uh-huh. blue, it just like. What is your favorite subject in school? Um, science. I have had a lot of fun in science this past year. I actually got to grow bacteria. So who gets to well, grow what? bacteria? In that, this... That's interesting. Yeah, that was fun. Um, what is one thing you cannot live without? Probably my phone or my camera or my computer. <laughs> All electronics, but, you know. <laughs> um, or, and books, and books. I got both of these bookcases that hold a lot of books, so. <laughs> books. What do you like to do in your free time? 
Um, well, <laughs> I like to read. Um, dancing, I, I have, I go to dance quite often. Singing, I and I love photography. I got a, cr a camera for Christmas, so. Oh, that's awesome. Um, do you have any pets for wanting? I do. I have a little hamster named Mochanilla, and um, and I want a cat, but right now it's just a little hamster. <laughs> Uh, okay, three more questions. If you had a soundtrack to your life, what song or songs would have to be on it? Like, you could just pick one or, like, a few. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Maybe, um, uh, California Girls, and also, uh, you know, that it's really old, the Brown Eyed Girl, but when I was younger, um, you know, you, my Brown Eyed Girl, so I ran out, <laughs> so that one. Awesome. Okay, what charity is closest to your heart or one that you support? Um, I really like uh, the World Wildlife Foundation. I asked for Christmas. You know how you can, like, get a little animal uh -huh. by donating? So I asked for that, and um, I think that I really like animals. So <laughs> I, I really like monkeys and penguins and elephants and all the animals of the world. <laughs> so that one would be good. <laughs> okay, last question. Do you have a favorite quote? Or a saying that's always on your mind? Yes. Um, it's actually one of my phone backgrounds. I don't know who said it, but it's dream as, no, it's live as if you'll die tomorrow, dream as if you'll live forever. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, one. I don't know who said that, but I think it's really cool. It is. It is a great one of my favorite quotes. Okay, so that's it for the interview. So thank you, Taylor. Thank um, you. Okay. <laughs>